Before I say anything else, I just want to comment on one thing. It's finally sunny outside. Oh, I miss the sun. <laughs> Y'all might think I'm making a big deal about this, but there hasn't been a sunny day since I got here. I talked to some people that have been previously, and they say that sunny days are few and far between. I can finally bask in the sun again. Get a suntan going on. Yeah, that's, that's good. Don't get too much sun. We are back on that 12.30 to 5 class schedule today. All day study party, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I know you do. But there's some other stuff later on in the day, so I think I'm just gonna be at school all day. There's an optional art class, and I definitely wanna take that. I need to improve on my drawing capabilities. Right now, I can literally just do a stick figure. At 7.30 tonight, there's an optional orchestra rehearsal that you can go to and see. Listen to some classical musicians play. Makes me wish that I could play. Honestly, why didn't I pick the violin or something cool like that, a singing voice? Uh, so needless to say, I'm looking forward to today. We recently decided that we're going to Brussels this weekend, but we're also going to Bruges and Ghent. Try some Belgian waffles, some Belgian chocolate. So since I'm like a college student, I don't got a lot of money on my hands. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna stay in a hostel. Generally, when I think of a hostel, I think of something pretty sketchy, but it's super cheap. It's only like 22 euros and it's got free Wi-Fi, which I love as a millennial. I'm actually a Gen Z, but like I prefer to call myself a millennial instead. I don't relate to the youngins. There's also a free breakfast. Save this money too. It's just the whole hostel idea or sleeping with a whole ton of other people. I say it in my own room, but I make decisions that are completely the opposite. Listen to what I say, not what I do. I mean, at the end of the day, it's probably better to just stay in a hostel and meet new people. I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. Maybe I'll end up enjoying the hostel lifestyle and just only stay in hostels while I'm here in Europe. And on that note, let's blow this popsicle stand and take on the day. I'm just getting back. It's like 9.30. I was out all day, dude. I've been a busy bee. First of all, in ethics class, we talked about the Kosovo Civil War that happened multiple years ago and whether the NATO use of risk-free bombing was the correct or morally acceptable thing to do. And probability, we just learned more basic stuff. I mean, I guess I understand it. We're learning the groundwork for everything else, but still, I mean, at a certain point, it's like, do I really need to know the probability if I grab a sock out from a drawer, what color it is? In French, we learned a couple things. First of all, 80 is actually quatre font, which means 420. French is kind of a meme. What do you know? You say salut, young man's way of saying hello. So man, I am hip with the times. Oh shoot, I'm a Gen Z. There's a drawing class, and it turns out that drawing is actually kind of difficult. Before, I literally can't draw a line. They just aren't straight. The after, there's a reason why paintings are priceless. Luckily, that's like every single week, so by the end of it, I'll sure I'll be like the next Picasso or Leonardo da Vinci. The final thing we did, we listened to an orchestra rehearsal. We go into an orchestra rehearsal. Like we sat right behind them so we could hear everything. It's times like this where I really wish I played the clarinet better than I actually do, and they were way better than me. They played Tchaikovsky's Sixth Symphony, which is also called The Pathetic, because his brother listened to it and he said, damn, that's pathetic. And then Tchaikovsky was like, you know what? I'm gonna stick with that title. I hardcore vibe with Tchaikovsky. I also vibe with him because I was a conductor in my high school marching band. That's me. Uh, probably just head in and then go to sleep. More like do homework probably, and then go to sleep. Busy day tomorrow and this whole entire weekend. So I'll see y'all.